It's called Fight the Night. Oakland University students are leaving the warmth of their own beds and for 12 hours will experience what life is like being homeless, raising awareness of just how much people who are without homes need help. Oakland University students gathered for the second annual Fight the Night to raise funds for the Baldwin Center in Pontiac, which provides food, clothing, and enrichment programs to those without shelter. Professor Reinhardt and his students from Health Promotion and Marketing class coordinated the event to give students this hands-on experience so drastically different from the life they've known. I wanted to uh, really focus on the idea of creating empathy for the homeless. We thought the only way that we could attempt to uh, attempt to feel empathy is to try to take away the shelter of our homes for a night. The reason why we're doing it in November is, yes, it's because November is National Homelessness Awareness Month, but also because we want it, we want it to be cold. It's chilly right now. I mean, I'm in a hat and scarf and I'm shivering a little bit. It's going to get colder as the night goes on and that, that's good. That will help create the empathy within the students. These family members, all the money goes directly to the Baldwin Center. Like you mentioned before, they feed, clothe, educate, and empower. Despite being part of the very class that put this all together, for students like Terry Brown, this has been a humbling wake-up call. So as soon as we're done, I'm probably going to text my mom and just tell her, like, thank you for everything that you and my dad have done for me, because this, this is truly, it's truly so humbling, truly. These students are, are showing that they want, they want their chance to, to really rise up and show that they can, they can do real good. I think this event will change them. I think they might find themselves in the future speaking to someone else who uh, has talked about, oh gee, I remember doing a sleep out in June and it was really fun. And, and there, there might be a moment where they're, they're mad. No, it's not, it's not supposed to be fun. Don't, don't set them that way. The wind's blowing the wind's this way. As college students might be perceived as privileged, for one student, memories came rushing back as Chanel Skelton found herself in this very situation with her mom a few years ago. When I went through a moment of not having a place to sleep, I had to sleep in a hallway with my mom um, in Maryland for like two nights because we were in the, in the process of transitioning from state, to, from state to state. The money wasn't there yet, the housing wasn't ready, Section 8 housing wasn't ready. It was a lot of things that we had to wait on. So there was nights we spent in 24-hour McDonald's. We felt the need to remember that we're here for a purpose, that we can make it through this. But people do look at you funny. Um, the discrimination is very open and aware and is out there. Even though that's not something to be proud of, but it's an experience that I can never take back. When you are out there, like anyone in Pontiac or any other city, around this nation that had no choice or something just really drastic happened to them, all that control goes out the window and now you have to be left with what you can get your hands on and that might not be much. Chanel says that she was excited to see her peers gather together to mobilize a change in society's perspectives and spend their weekend outside on November 12th, leaving humbled with a new perspective. There's, there's going to be you know, moments with, with all of us, myself included, where I'm going to look up at the wonderful clock tower we have here at Oakley University, and it's going to say three in the morning, and I am going to think, oh my gosh, still have four more hours. And then that moment will hit me that, wow, in four more hours, I get to go home and take a shower. And there are people who don't have that, and that's really where those empathetic moments uh, sink in. And there are many events in my life that, if they would have gone left as opposed to right, could have put me in that position. And if I'm fortunate enough to have family, if I'm fortunate enough to have health, if I'm fortunate enough to have a stable income, that's what keeps me out of that. But it, it, those things are all so fragile. Reinhardt hopes that through reaching the young community, this may alter society's perceptions of the homeless as members who aren't just scammers, but who are dealing with the effects of uncontrollable circumstances and will choose help as they dream for a better life for themselves and their families. The next time they see someone who's, who's just asking for a handout, even if they can't give them money, they'll look at that individual and think, that's still human. It's, you know, don't run away from that individual. You know, don't, don't uh, pretend not to see that individual. Don't uh, make that individual the, the invisible. At the end of the day, the majority of us in this world are, are a lot closer together than we really think. And anything you can do that works within yourself to do, um, you should attempt to do to help, especially to help your community.
And this is why it is critical to keep programs open like this in order to provide food, clothing, and enrichment programs to those in need. The event raised just under $3,000, and you can donate at crowdrise.org slash fight hyphen the hyphen nights, and they will be collecting donations up until the end of this year. Reporting in Pontiac, I'm Caitlin Wilson, Local 4.